Meanwhile, a 130-year-old time capsule has revealed its secrets. It was buried in the base of a statue of a Confederate general. And the findings include bullets, buttons and currency from the U.S. Civil War. This copper box was found embedded in the stone pedestal of a statue of General Robert E. Lee. He was the commander of the Army of Northern Virginia during the conflict. And Lee's bronze statue was erected in 1890 in Richmond in the city of Virginia. It was the capital no, of the pro-slavery South during uh, the Civil War, a, um, and it was taken down coins. in the month of September. Twelve copper coins to Lee Monument from Charles Howard, maybe? Oh, uh, proceedings of the, the time capsule Roger. was opened by conservators at the Department of Historic Resources. The contents were in relatively good condition, having suffered only a bit of water damage. Yep. Yep. An article published in Richmond newspaper back in 1887 listed some of the items. The findings include stuff such as engravings from the 1865 edition of the Harper's Weekly depicting a woman weeping next to Abraham Lincoln's casket, several Civil War bullets, a small Confederate flag, a Masonic symbol carved out of wood, Confederate banknotes, buttons with the seal of the state of Virginia a bundle of about 12 copper coins and also a leather-bound Bible, 1884 edition of the detailed minutes of the soldier's life in the Army of Northern Virginia. No, this is definitely not dressing. So um, we wanted to make sure it actually wasn't live before anybody came into the lab. So I think that is what we have here. Sorry, there was supposed to be a fragment of a shell from a battle in Fredericksburg. Oh. And they put this in, it was already torn, and they have actually have a mend on there because this had been folded already many times. And so it looks like a figure grieving over the grave of Lincoln. Now, during the Black Lives Matter movement in 2020, Lee's statue in Richmond became a focus of protest. This was in the aftermath of the custodial murder of a black man, George Floyd, in Minneapolis. Now remember, during the Civil War, the Confederate states had fought to maintain slavery, which was abolished in the rest of the country. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.